Hey, so what's up guys? Welcome to Isha's Biker Mania. So today we'll be making a dish which is loved by every single buddy. I hope you read it from the title. We'll be making some paneer momos. For making it, it's very easy. So let's start. For making a paneer momos, first we'll start off by making a dough. So for that, first we'll take a bowl. First, in a bowl, we'll add one and a half cup of all-purpose flour, followed by some salt and a drizzle of some oil. Now to your all-purpose flour, we'll add some water and roll it down into a smooth dough. Use as much water as needed. Now we'll take it out into a worktop. It should be a nice and smooth dough. Just net it like this. Once your dough is nice and stretchy, now we form it into a dome like this. And we'll place it onto our bowl for half an hour straight. And don't forget to, to drizzle in some oil on the top. Meanwhile, we'll heat up a pan and add about 3 tablespoons of oil. Once your oil heats up, we'll add about a tablespoon of garlic. To your garlic, we'll also add our ginger, about an inch. We'll throw in some green chilies. Let it saute there for about 15 to 20 seconds. We'll throw in some onions. We'll saute it well. Let it cook on the stove for one and a half minute. Once your onion turns aromatic, now we'll throw in some fresh cabbage. Just look at that. We'll give it a proper mix. Once you mix in your cabbage, we'll throw in some green capsicums and we'll mix it well for one and a half minute. It has been about one and a half minute since our cabbage and capsicum has been cooking. Now we'll add our paneer. Make sure you grate it well before you add it. And the main part, it has to be fresh, otherwise it won't taste good. Let's mix it properly. Now to your paneer mixture, we'll add some salt, we'll add on some freshly black ground pepper. Some oregano and some chili flakes and make sure one thing, your paneer mixture shouldn't be too mushy, we'll mix it properly and once you feel everything is mixed, you'll get a nice aroma. At that point of time, we close up a stove and our paneer filling is ready. Let it cool down on the side for 15 to 20 minutes. It has been about half an hour, now let's check onto our dough. Just look at that, it's a perfect smooth dough. Just look at this. Now, we'll take it onto a worktop. But before that, don't forget to dust it with some flour. Now, let's keep our dough. Now, we'll cut our dough into equal parts. So we can shape it into our momos. Once you shape our dough like this, now we'll cut it into small balls so we can turn it out into our momos. There was one, two, three. Now it's time to shape our momos. So we'll take two of those balls and then we'll combine it. Take a rolling pin. We'll make our edges very very thin. Now we'll take a bowl kind of thing, place it in between, press it properly. We'll take 
proper circle just look at that use the excess dough to make another mold now we place our stuffing into the between like this and we shape it into a There you go, just look at our moments. It's perfect. Now once you have shaped all of your momos, now it's time to steam it up. So you have taken some idli trays and apply some oil onto our idli trays. Apply to all of them. Now once you have greased your idli trays, we place our momos one by one onto our idli tray like this. I can assure you they are going to turn out so good. Make sure you try this recipe and comment how was it made. Just keep it onto the trays properly. Now it's time to place our momos into our idli steamer. So we go one by one. And there it goes, the last one. We place a lid on and let it cook 15 minutes on low flame. So guys, there you go, our momos are ready. And now it's time for the taste test. My favorite part. So on the side, I've taken some shizon chutney. If you want to see the video of how to make it, the uh, link is in the description box below. And now it's time for the taste test. My favorite part. Mmm. Mmm. So look at that. So good. Make sure you try this recipe and let me know in the comments how was it made. Mmm. So guys, I've come to an end of today's session. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. If you have any questions, you can always ask me through any of my social media accounts. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.